my mum actually received my letter back at the parents' house, at my parents' house, and she rang me saying, "You've got a letter that says on Her Majesty's service. Can I open it? Can I open it? Because I think she had a bit of an inkling." And I was like, well, I don't have a clue what it is. Yeah, go on, open it. So she suddenly started screaming down the phone. And I was like, what is it? What is it? To let me in on the secret. And she was like, you're getting an MBA. And I was just a bit taken aback by it. I mean, I was quite shocked. A few years ago, a lot of people said, oh, you'll get one, you'll get one. But you kind of forget about it. And then to suddenly receive the letter was kind of a bit of a shock. Yeah, I mean, the first time a lot of people did sort of say... Um, you probably will get an MBA after this, but then it didn't come then. So, um, to be honest, a lot of people said you'll probably get it, but we thought it'd be when I retired if I did. So to suddenly get a letter through the post and then to have to keep it a secret was the hardest thing. I literally, obviously my mum knew and my dad knew and that was it. So um, you forget about it really and then obviously it's kind of all come out the past week and just wanted to tell all my friends about it, really. Um, I haven't actually told many of my friends yet. I've got a New Year's Eve party tomorrow, so it's going to be kind of a double celebration. I'll tell them all tomorrow, if they don't already know from the papers. And I told my nan and my granny and stuff, and they just cried because they're quite into the royal family and stuff, and they were just so proud of me and all the family were. And to be honest, I remember the beginning of the year I was um, injured, I had shoulder surgery, and I just thought I didn't think anything was going to come of this year. And to be honest, I thought, I've got nothing to lose. So I went to the Euros, came home with double gold, and that gave me the confidence. And I thought that was going to be the kind of highlight of the year. But then to come home with the world title, especially with it being at the O2, where the Olympics is going to be, and I sort of got an insight to how it would be in London 2012, it was just made it all the more special.